How's everybody doing today? Um, it's a nice sunny day <clears throat> down here in uh, Victoria, uh, Mexico. It's about uh, 72 degrees and uh, um, I wanted to thank all my subscribers um, and uh, my new subscribers. It's, uh, it's, it's really great um, watching the number increase there. We're up to about 145. Um, so thank you for all of your support, uh, your input, your feedback. Uh, it's, uh, it's really valuable to me. So, um, anyway, uh, I wanted to, uh, kind of give everybody an update uh, on a couple things and, uh, talk about today's, uh, uh, video project. Um, so the first thing is, um, uh, my, uh, solar panels, uh, did, uh, did start uh, failing me a little bit. I uh, did notice that the um, amps kept dropping and uh, then I was having a hard time even keeping up with the refrigerator on a bright sunny day. Um, I did have one extra panel with me. Uh, so generally it puts out about four amps each panel. So it gives me about eight, eight amps uh, maximum. Um, and it was between the two of them was about one, 1 1.5. So, um, a little bit disappointed in that. I wish I would have held out for um, about the two-year mark. It's been a little over a year. Um, so the eco-worthy panel, I mean, did it work? Yes. Um, I did put the spare on there and um, it uh, now is making about four amps on one panel and about 0.75 on the other. I only have one panel with me, so, and I can't get it shipped here to Mexico. Mm. So just a couple other things. I uh, purchased a um, wireless uh, microphone and the uh, suggestion of uh, a few people making comments, right? So like I say, I do really appreciate those comments. It helps me grow and develop, uh, positive or negative. Um, and hopefully it helps with the wind noise. So um, like I say, I'm sure there's a learning curve uh, to it, but uh, we're going to see how it goes, right? Um, so today's, um, today's video, if you haven't noticed over here uh, on the back of the car, um, it looks a little bit different, nothing on there, right? So um, the outdoor kitchen um, that I uh, built previously, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link down in the description. Um, it, it was good, it worked, um, but it just wasn't heavy duty enough. It wasn't durable. So um, after uh, about 12,000 miles of uh, topes, um, potholes, uh, some, some pretty bad roads, <clears throat> uh, such as Montezuma's Balcony, <clears throat> if you haven't seen that video, I would recommend you check that, the road to Montezuma's Balcony there. That was uh, pretty bad. Um, and uh, a lot of other... Uh, places that I've taken the car that eh, you probably shouldn't take a car but uh, um, all of that has uh, broken fittings and damaged it and uh, got to the point where you just couldn't fix it anymore so had to take it all off and uh, scrap it um, so I uh, came up with uh, I guess uh, kitchen 2.0 maybe um, so I mean look I mean it's it's I mean, it's a weight factor. I can only put 500 pounds of weight on that hitch carrier. Um, obviously, it does pull down the back of the car, even with um, the overload airbags inside of the coils. Um, so I'm always cognizant of how much weight I put back there, right? Uh, so that's kind of like the update. And uh, let's get into the video. So kind of give you an idea. Put the... Uh, Gasland heater here, four screws, um, reinforced that pretty well. We built this box. I reused the Starlight top. It's just, that's what the material is. I got it from the Home Depot. It's the same material that they use out of cutting boards. So um, 48 inches across. This is 24 inches wide, um, and it's uh, it's I believe it's about half it's half inch thick. Um, so that's pretty good there. The sides, um, I will say I bought them prefabricated. 
The back piece is 48 inches uh, by 24. Uh, sorry for all the stuff here, but figured I would load it up before I run out of motivation as we're heading to the beach tomorrow. I just used some uh, one by two to reinforce the corners for the top. And eventually here, we'll put uh, two doors. But I needed to get this in here because I had to figure out the height of this. And then we're going to insert a piece of wood in here. And then we'll make the doors on the front. So um, the, other, uh, the other thing is uh, kind of to go into what do things cost here, right? Um, so I'll get into that here in a little bit. Um, but this kind of gives you an idea. It's much more sturdy. Um, than the um, PVC on there. So if, in case you're wondering what goes on this, right, because obviously I don't have the doors on it yet. I don't want people to see what it is. So I picked this up here. So what this is, it's a barbecue grill cover um, of all things. So it's 58 inches, uh, 58 inches, uh, covers a 58 to 60 inch grill. Um, really really uh really durable it's got some silicone rubberized material on the inside heavy duty it's like a light canvas it's not super heavy duty but all the reviews on it were pretty positive and picked it up for about 25 bucks so um through amazon nothing local right um so I'm just gonna put this on here like so And it's nice. It's got these uh, little Velcro straps around the side of it. Um, so you can kind of like really cinch the material together. There we go. Um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So it'll keep everything dry. Um, I did build it a little bit lower than the uh, uh, PVC uh, pipe. It still does cover up the license plate, but uh, look, nobody's bothered me in 15,000 miles. And uh, it does cover the lights a little bit, but um, once again, nobody's bothered me. Uh, I thank all my subscribers, and um, I definitely need a beer. It's been... Uh, it's been a long day. It's been a lot of building and a lot of construction, a lot of measuring, fitting, and it's uh, 89 degrees here today, so um, it definitely gets older, harder as you get older. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see how this goes, and I'll, ge and I'll keep you updated. So we'll see what's on the menu for tomorrow night. Uh, we're going to cook out there in La Pesca and go from there. So thanks for watching.